Conceptual Maths Grade 4 Chapter 1, Numbers by STEM Kit Education Today we are going to study 5-digit numbers on Abacus. For those who don't know, Abacus is an ancient calculator. It makes it easier to understand and work with larger numbers. So, what is a spike abacus? Here you see some models of spike abacus. It is a wooden board which has spikes inserted on it. Hence the name, spike abacus. Each spike stands for place value and the beads represent the digit. As you insert beads on the spike, the digit in that place value increases. Let us construct a spike abacus. We have a wooden board. For clarity, we have inserted the place values for each spike. Here come the spikes. One spike, ten spike, hundred spike, thousand spike, and ten thousand spike. Then we insert the beads on the spikes. So here, we have one ten thousand, two thousand, three hundred, four tens, and two ones. If you have done the expanded and short form, you know that this translates to 12342. Two. Let us play with the abacus a bit. Let's start with the one spike. If we place one bead on one spike, we have one ones or one. Two beads on one spike means two ones or two. Three beads means three. Four beads means four. Okay. Now let us work with the 10 spike. What do you think the number is if you place 3 beads on the 10 spike? The number is 3 tens or 30. Similarly, on the 100 spike. 100, one more bead makes it. 200, one more bead makes it. Work with me here and say out aloud. One more bead makes it. Right. 300, and one more bead makes it 400. Now, in the thousand spike. One bead means thousand. Two beads means two thousand. Three beads means three thousand. And so on. I think you are understanding this pretty well. Good job. Now, for the ten thousand beads. One bead means one ten thousand or ten thousand. Two beads means two ten thousands or twenty thousand. Three beads means three ten thousands or thirty thousand. Four beads means four ten thousands or forty thousand. Five beads means five ten thousands or fifty thousand. That was great. Just by adding beads to the spikes you can change a number. Let us check your knowledge now. What is the number represented by the first abacus? You have to merely see how many beads in each place value and add it. You can also write the number of beads side by side to write the number. Did you get the number? It is 52,132. Let us see another abacus. What do you think the number is here? Are you done yet? I will wait for you to say it. Well, the number is 10,420. Let us see another example. This is the last one, I promise. What is the number on this abacus? Say the number out aloud. Did you get it? Yes, it is 42,323. So now you know how to work with the abacus. Great. Now go back to the conceptual maths by STEM kit book and solve some questions.